Hey y'all, it's your girl Q, and today, today y'all, we are doing some walking, and we're gonna do some work on our vibrational plate. Let's get it! And we're back. All right, y'all, so what we're gonna do today is, is we're gonna do 10 minutes of walking, and then we're gonna do 10 minutes on that vibrational plate. And that's just gonna help us with our posture, with all the beautiful things that the vibrational plate does. And if you wanna see more of what the vibrational plate does, I did a video on that, doing that, that uh, exact exercise. It's called the No Exercise Exercise Machine. You feel me? So I want you guys to go ahead over and check that out. So you guys know what we're doing, you feel me? And then I'm also gonna show you guys some different things that I like to do with the resistance bands. All right, so now let's go ahead and get started. Y'all, <laughs> I got on my Shapeful X today and it does help my back. But one thing I do know about corrective things is that when you're correcting your posture, your back has to go in a different, uh, your back has to go <laughs> in a different, um, direction than what it normally does because a lot of times you know with back problems our backs go this way and we round the shoulders so the shape of legs pushes my back back in and back and boy it's a little different you know what I'm saying <laughs> but this does feel um, like it's gonna help me and stuff like that I feel a lot of support in my back my legs and just you know carrying <laughs> but anyway but anyway, y'all, so let's go ahead and get started. And as always, the music will be up in the uh, top in the top of the screen. And so you guys can catch the vibe or you can listen to whatever it is you want to. I'm just happy you're here with me. You feel me? All right, let's get it. Okay. Let's go. Alexa, start a 10 minute timer. Second timer, 10 minutes, starting now. Do you want to name it? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm the type of person, I love actually, you know, the feeling of exercising when I'm done. You know what I mean? Like once I've gotten it in, I feel a lot better. All right, y'all, so we gonna start off slow. Let's get it. Feeling it in them gluteus maximuses. Good lord. Also, if you guys want to know more about the Shape X, I have a product review video for that as well. So I hope you guys will go ahead and check that out too. Let's go. Let's get it. 
And y'all, please remember to breathe. definitely have to remember to just breathe. Make sure you're breathing. Shake through the nose, out of the mouth. I'm in the scene, y'all. Let's go. Halfway there. And as always, at any time, if you need to take a break, drink you some water, do that. Ain't no shame. Shall we take some? Ain't no shame. Yes. Do what you are comfortable with. You know what I'm saying? That's what all this is about. When you're working on yourself, when you are doing things that are better for you, block out all the outside noise. Alexa, stop. You're gonna have a lot of people saying discouraging things, all type of stuff. Don't you worry about that shit one bit. Okay. You keep moving forward. Because you never know who's watching. Whew. And you being consistent and shining what you know is right that's gonna lead you exactly to where you want to be yeah
And then over time, you keep going, you're gonna start seeing your growth. Whew. You might not see it at first, but you will see it. Hell, you might not see it, but everybody else will see it. <laughs> Most of the times, other people see me before I see me. Real talk. So it's like, once you catch on and realize your actual worth and value, oh man, that's when things start to truly take off, you know? So while you're on your journey, congratulate others. You know what I'm saying? Be able to show love. You know what I mean? Woo. Let's go. We're getting there. Yes, God. Woo. We're getting there, baby. We're getting there. It all starts with a change of your actual mind. It does. Let's go. Push. Push. Yay! Woo! We did it, y'all. We did it. Yes! You did it! We did it! Oh, I feel so pumped right now. Okay, Alexa, stop. Woo! Yes, God, honey, yes, God. All right. Now, y'all know how we do. We gonna do a nice cool down. Oh, yes, God, honey. We did that. We did that. Gonna do a nice cool down. Oh gosh. Excuse me. Let's start stretching up. Oh yes. Oh. Yes, God, honey. Stretch it all the way down. Take it over. Make sure you hold your core so your back will feel that support and that stretch. And you get all that good stretch on the side. Oh, yes. Now the side. Remember, hold that core. Oh, yes. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh. Stretch that. Open up that chest. Open up that chest. Feel all that love in your heart. Open it up. Yes. Now, we're gonna do a uh, little sweat kind of my eye. Be all right, all my sweat. All right, now, I am, whew, we're gonna bend forward. Hold on. Whew. We're gonna get off the uh, treadmill and then we'll do some more stretching. And as I said before, then it'll be time Hold on, y'all. I mean, sweat really got in my shit. All right. <laughs> so we're going to be right back. I'm gonna put my treadmill away and we'll do some more stretching and then we'll bring out the vibrational plate and the resistance bands. Yes, God, honey. Yes, and God. Let's go. Whew. All right. Let's put up the tread.
Get some stretches in. Let me go wipe my damn face. Cause I mean, I'm sweating back. And we're back. All right, y'all, so we're back. And as I said before, I had to put away the treadmill um, and dap my face a little bit because, you know, getting that sweaty in, child. Yes, and this thing is real good for working up a good sweat. Child, I feel it through my, uh, I had dipped my finger in there. My shirt is soaked, but that's really good, especially when you are trying to build muscle and gain strength in your legs, your joints, your back. Your body needs these movements to increase that flexibility and all that good stuff. I'm gonna say my body needs this, you know what I'm saying? And I know I'm not the only one. I know there's other people out there that can feel where I'm coming from. And then I know that there's people who don't have, you know, and so it is what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody's not gonna resonate with you on everything. That's not your job to worry about. Your job is, is to show up as your authentic self and be you and do what's right for you, you get what I'm saying? I'm gonna do what's real for me, you feel me? All right, so now, what we gonna do is, is we gonna do some stretches up to the sky. Oh yes. I love this stretch, cause you feel it so much in that back area. All right here, you feel that. So we gonna reach up to the sky. We gonna reach up and let yourself feel yourself all the way beyond your fingertips, beyond your legs, beyond your toes. You are a spiritual being inhabiting this body. Allow yourself to feel as big as you want, as vast as you want. Now, we're going to take and we're gonna bend forward. Oh, and let our hands hit the floor. Let your back just, hold on, I'm gonna take these shoes off they making me slide all over the place. I ain't trying to do all that. All right, now, up, roll forward. Soften the knees. Oh, yeah. Oh, feel that stretch. Y'all probably, y'all can't see me, but right now I am in a downward dog position and I am allowing my back, oh, this feels wonderful. Oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. yes, God. Oh. Mm -hmm. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Ooh. Now walk your hands back up. Oh. All right, now you're gonna take this hand. We're gonna bring it over here. And then make sure that your feet are shoulder width apart, soften those knees, and then pivot. Oh, you're gonna feel that stretch all in the side, all in your obliques. Feel that, feel it. And if you need to, bend your knees a little bit more. Feel that. Oh, now, take that left arm. Bring it on across. Take that right hand, hold it. To soften the knees, bend, pivot. Y'all just don't know the way this feels. Uh, and if you do know, then you definitely know. I want you to know. <laughs> uh, the alleviation of that stress and those muscles just building up. And right now you do have a lot of lactic acid in your, I kind of just do what feels good to my body, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, so what I just did was, was I took my left leg, stuck it out, pointed the toe, and lifted that arm, and then turn. Swing that around, point that left leg, oh. Uh, Oh, yes. And turn as much as you can. And now we're gonna, we'll be right back. After getting that good shake in and after getting that, I mean, after getting that good stretch in, now we're gonna shake it up. 
We're going to get that good vibrational plate going. I love that damn thing. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh, so now we're going to go ahead and get our vibrational plate and get to vibrating. All right, let's go. Ten minutes. And we're back like I never left. <laughs> All right. So last time when we did the vibrational play, I um, whew, I had on tennis shoes when I did it. Upon further research, it's best to either wear socks or to be barefoot. The closer that your actual feet are to the vibrational plate, the more effect that you feel from it. <clears throat> Through your body excuse me when i get to moving around that air come about sorry guys um uh, well i'm not sorry but excuse me using my man as you feel me so um what um i had learned is is to do this either barefoot or with socks i'm not a huge sock person just wearing them around the house um but i we on here with no socks on. So it's a lot easier to have foot contact to the entire thing. Then it gives you those kinds of benefits that acupressure would give you to the bottom of your feet as well. So it's always good to update information. It's always good to be teachable. And it's always good to be able to hear and to understand. You get what I'm saying? Let's go. All right. So now, since I don't have my shoes on, I can start this up without, I can start this up without having to, uh, I can start this up without having to, oh yeah, that's a different feeling altogether. Oh yeah. Headbands. It's supposed to catch the sweat, but sometimes it's just down. Uh, and then also loosen, loosen the knees, loosen up those hips, loosen those hips up, uh, and allow the machine to do what it needs to do. Alexa, start a 10 minute timer. 10 minutes, uh, starting now. y'all so we're gonna go ahead and get started i've already turned on the vibrational plate it feels wonderful and so we're gonna let the machine do its job and we're just going to vibrate and then in uh, let's, let's move it. and in about five minutes we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna show you the resistance band well maybe maybe a little less than that probably about three minutes Two, three minutes just vibrating just to be vibrating and then we're gonna do um the resistance bands 
and get started with all of that. All right, let's get it. Because uh, I'm telling you, anytime in the beginning of starting anything, it's difficult. It is. And you're going to have so many different thoughts about things. You might question it. You might be like, okay, now we're going to lift up, lift up the one leg. You know how we did last time, if you caught that video. We're going to lift up that one leg and allow that vibration to go through on that other leg. Oh, yes, God. Oh. Then we're going to take that leg, that right leg sticking out. Excuse me, I told y'all. And then we're going to, whoo. Then take the other way. Loosen up those ankle joints. Yes, God, honey, yes, and God. <laughs> oh, it be feeling so good. All right, now. Lift up that other leg. Lift up that uh, right leg. Wait up. No. Lift up that left leg. What the fuck? <laughs> we gonna lift up. I was right. We gonna lift up this left leg. Lift it up. Oh, and allow yourself to vibrate on that right side. And like I said, make sure you're loose. Oh, all that tension is not good for your body. And the more that you come into yourself, and it takes a lot sometimes to unlearn that rigidity. It takes a lot. Sometimes you have to remind yourself like, you're safe, you're okay. You don't have to feel like that. You have no reason. And I had to learn that a lot of that anxiety is from trauma response. It just is. Switch. Oh wait, first stick that left leg out. And then Yes. Then go. A lot of that is trauma response. Feeling the need to always explain some shit to people. Especially explaining things to people who gonna misunderstand me on purpose anyway. It's a trauma response. And the more that I learn about narcissism and narcissistic abuse, the more a lot of these different puzzle pieces come together and a lot more that I'm able to understand what actually happened to me. And the more that I understand that, the more that I'm able to see and the more that I'm able to protect myself from ever being placed in triangulation, in devaluation, and all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just really being able to open your eyes to what, open my eyes to what I've allowed myself to be put through. You know what I'm saying? And by understanding that, by understanding that, it makes my healing journey that much better. I'm setting healthy boundaries. I believe in apologizing when I'm wrong, but I no longer believe in apologizing just to save relationships. I'm not doing that anymore. You can't keep toxicity around you without feeling the effects of it. You have to be able to let some things go. And that's just the long and short of it. You know what I'm saying? You can't sit up and be like, well, why is my life like this? Why is, why is I going through all this? Why am I going through all that? But you're not doing your shadow work, doing no inner work. You're not tapping into your inner child. You're not acknowledging your inner child. When you really want to change and you want to do something different and shit hurts so bad to the point to where you just like, you know what? <laughs> Those things will happen. Stuff will start to fall in line. I'm not putting myself ever back in a situation that I know it took me all it is to fucking heal from. You understand? 
And like I said before, healing is not even linear. So this is an ongoing thing. You understand? Every day I wake up and I choose to heal. I'm the type of person that truly feels that revenge is useless, it's pointless. You know why I feel that revenge is pointless and useless? Because that's just like me drinking a whole bottle of cyanide and waiting for somebody else to drop. That's just like me sitting up saying, oh, that motherfucker's gonna die today. And I take and drink a whole bottle of poison. And then I'm sitting there like, oh, shit's getting woozy. And about the, you know what I'm talking about? No, no. I refuse to give anybody that much power over my life. They don't deserve that. Child, them people miserable all on their own. That's why they doing the shit they doing in the first place. I choose not to live in misery. We actually did that whole thing just vibing, just vibrating on the thing. Oh, give yourself a second. Whew. Oh, yes. That is wonderful. I mean, my scalp is sweating. That shit feel good as hell. Oh. Goodness. I can feel my endurance kind of strengthening. And that's a good thing. And we're... <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all, we're back again. So, I'm on the uh, exercise ball. I was going to do the resistance bands, and then I thought about it like, I don't feel like doing squats and stuff right now. So, I changed my mind. I want to do the exercise ball. So, now, we're just going to um, do some, some bouncing and some kind of just loosening up of that sacral, of that sacral chakra area and just kind of open up those joints and stuff like that. So that's what we doing. All right. Just kind of loosening up that sciatic nerve cause that is so important. And then we just gonna roll this way. Then we gonna roll that way. And when I roll to each side, I, I bend the one knee, I bend the opposite knee and stretch out that leg. And it gives such a good stretch to that inner thigh and into that hip. And like I said, you even feel that all the way into your booty. Like it's a good stretch. So now we're gonna roll around again, bend that knee, stick that other leg out. Oh, yes, God, honey. Then we're going to roll forward a little bit, and you will feel that stretch and that groin muscle. That is very important. You don't want to overexert yourself, but you do. Oh, goodness. You do want to go ahead and get a stretch in with that. Now, what I'm doing now is, is I'm putting both feet forward, but spread apart, but both feet forward, and we're just rolling around. Then roll the other way. Then, oh, stretch that back. That feels nice. All right. And so we're going to end this session out today with a little bit of just some therapy. I mean, some th well, the, all of this is therapy, but just some meditation. Just a little bit of quiet meditation, which is going to allow our body to come back into rest mode. We were all into, you know, exercising. This was like right. Yeah. Okay, okay. I really was getting into that. Um sorry. Let's find out. So we're gonna do a little bit of meditation and just some quiet breathing just to breathe in, breathe out and allow our bodies to come back into a restful mode and then it'll be time to hit the showers all right let's get it and i am definitely going to continue bouncing all while doing this yes i am <laughs>
that was with me. <laughs> Fear you. All the time we say goodbye to all our YouTube friends Family, we love you all the way to the end Thank you for watching this video So hit that subscribe button and the notification bell too What do you do? I'll see y'all next time I love you. <laughs>